Welcome back guys to another video and today we're going to teach you how you can export your Binance.com data into coin tracking to do your crypto taxes really fast. There are two different ways to do it, either API or CSV and I'm going to teach you both ways. So first you have to be in cointracking.info and if you go to the exchange import CSV or API, let's start with the API. We go to Binance, there are two Binance options, Binance.com, Binance US, you have to choose the correct one. We are with Binance.com and at the API side, we can see the limitations of API and the CSV. So you have to choose the correct one. The CSV includes everything, including the commission. The API doesn't include the commissions. Let's do this. So on the left side, you see our instructions, how to do the API or how to get the API from Binance. It is very easy. So let's go to the correct site in Binance or either you click this and get to the correct site immediately or you can go to Binance.com. If you are on the homepage of Binance.com, then you simply click your icon and then go to API management and then you will get to the same page like coin tracking led you to. All right. Here we see our previous APIs, which we set up for testing purposes, but for this sake, we will create a new one. So you exactly know how to do it. Let's click create API and then system generated. Click next. Let's label the API key as coin tracking API. All right, click next. Now we have to authenticate with the Authenticator app and via email to get our API key and secret. Let's try the email very first. All right, the email verification worked. Now we have to get our Authenticator and get the code from the Authenticator. Once done, you have your API key and API secret generated. We need both. So you just simply copy it and insert it into coin tracking API key. Then we copy the API secret and copy that into coin tracking. It is important to know that we at coin tracking are only interested in the read only data as we are pulling the data from the exchange and inserting it into coin tracking. So everything is safe and there's nothing to worry about. Just make sure that enable reading is enabled and we don't need any other option. Going back to coin tracking, we have the Binance job ready to import. To import the Binance data, simply click save this Binance job and then shortly coin tracking will confirm that the API job is saved. We see it here with the green big button and then down below we can see our API which is currently running with all the information and then it says import zero. Once import turns to one, you know that all the API data or your transaction data is imported into coin tracking. This will take around 30 minutes. So in the meantime, I will teach you how to export your CSV data to import that into coin tracking. I always recommend only uploading the API or the CSV to avoid duplicates. But with Binance.com, there's an exception. So you can upload the API and the CSV together into the account and you will ha not have duplicates as our software analyzes the trades or the transactions you import into coin tracking and then filters out the duplicates. And with Binance.com, it is that not everything is included in the, in, in the API as you see here. The commissions are not included and therefore the CSV is needed to import those. So let's continue with the CSV. So if we read the instructions, it says set up the API. We've done that. And now step two, upload the CSV. If we click the link, we will get directly to the site where we need to go to download our transaction history. For that, we just simply click on the right side, export transaction records. And then we have to choose the customized time range for our transactions. With Binance, there is a little, well, manual work required. If you trade a longer time on Binance already, because you only can export up to one year of history per time. So you have to choose, let's say the 5th November, and then you can go back until the 5th November 22. That's the maximum you can go. And then you export one year and then you export the next year and so on and so on. And then you have to upload that all to coin tracking. So let's do that. I prepared some data already. So I 
prepared the data for 23 and for 22 because it takes some time. Binance says they take up to three hours to deliver the data. So I prepared it in advance so we don't have to wait. So now we download the data. We download this one and this one. Once you downloaded your data from Binance.com, then you go back to coin tracking and choose the file to upload it. Now we choose the files, continue to import, and here we can see all our transactions which will be imported. We see it's 783 transactions. And if we hit info, enter mess, uh, error message, then we will see if there are any transactions which will be skipped or have errors. Here we see skip transactions has been canceled. That's all right. And then for the other transactions, there's no error. So we can start importing the transactions. All right. Once done, coin tracking will confirm with a big green check that the transactions have been successfully imported. And you, you can see import done. And for all the other transactions, uh, as I told you before, will be skipped by the API if they are imported by the API already. So we see the CSV. Uh, just imported a few new transactions which have been missing in the API. So that's good. Now we continue with the second file. And do the same. Here we see we have some more transactions. Uh, we don't have any errors here besides the transactions which have been cancelled. We start importing and then we see okay most of the trades the API imported already. For this case, we can see that the API imported all the trades we had in this CSV, so there is no need to import that. And we are done with importing the Binance.com data. Now we can go to Android Coins, and then we see all our trades imported and the API is still loading. All right, now we see that Binance has imported all our data. One thing to note here is please let the API load its data into the coin tracking account and finish and then later on add the CSV to add the missing transactions. I did it a little bit quick right now so I can demonstrate how it works with the API and the CSV, but give it some time to the API first. And once the API is done and you have the import one in the information of the API job, then upload the CSV. Don't do it like I did right now. Now we see we have all the transactions in our enter coins. We see we have 106 pages of transactions. So everything is in. And if we go to the balance by exchange, we also see Binance, uh, the Binance balance is imported. So the next step is once you have reconciled all your data, all your trading, all the transactions, you have it all in coin tracking, then you can start making your tax report. To generate our tax report, we simply go to tax report and click tax report. Now we are in the crypto tax report site where we can generate our tax report. But before we have to set up the tax report with some options and settings. So for the country, we select our country, in our case it's Germany, but there's a variety you can choose from. Then for the tax method, we use first in first out, but again, there are a lot of tax options you can choose from and depending on your situation, choose the right taxation method. Then for the tax year, we use 23 as our tax year. But again, depending on your trading behavior, there will be many different years uh, to choose from and depending on your need to generate the tax year you need. Then for the filters, you can include and exclude specific transaction types if you want to. Then previous trades, consider all previous trades in the report. This is an option you should leave on. Then you can use the deposit separation tax slots if you want to or not. And you can group all purchases by day and group all search by day. If you have a lot of transactions in your account, this will speed up the generation process of the tax report. Once all done and you have your settings in, we can generate a new tax report. Once you have generated a new tax report, you will see in the bottom the total capital gains and the year of the taxation, the taxation method. And if you want to see more information about your tax report, simply click load report. This is a much more detailed view of the report and once it's loaded up, we will see all the details about the report. The details have loaded and now we can see how much capital gains we had, how much income we had. And if you scroll down, you will see even more details line by line, transaction by transaction, what you exactly did, how much you profited off it or lost on it. We see the income, we see the gift donations, the fee report, the lost and stolen, the closing positions. We have everything in this report. And if you need to submit your report, then simply scroll up and go to download to end this report and then simply click download PDF or download Excel and then you can submit it or give it to your CPA and move from there on.
We hope this video was helpful to you and if there are any open questions, please leave them down in the comments and we will happily answer all the comments for you. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and check out our playlist with all the other exchanges where we guide you step by step how to export the API or CSV and import them into coin tracking so you can do your crypto taxes easily. We wish you happy trading and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.